Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a DXF file for your centering rings. A DXF file is super useful because the laser cutter uses DXF files um, to cut parts. So let's start off by looking at the dimension for my centering ring. Uh, right now I have the diameter as 2.558 and inner diameter as 1.21, so let's keep that in mind. Uh, so. Let's go over to Fusion 360. This program, it's a CAD program and it's free for anyone. You can go ahead and download it. You can use any CAD model to create the centering ring, but I'm going to use Fusion 360. So let's start off by creating a sketch. You can hit on you can click this arrow right here and there'll be a drop down and you can click create sketch. Um, now you can select any plane to create your sketch on. I'm going to cl click on the XY plane. Um, like I said, it doesn't matter. This is the pan button. It helps you pan your sketch and this is the zooming in and zooming out button. It might be helpful for later. So a centering ring is just two circles, right? So let's start with the inner diameter. So we're going to hit the same arrow right here, go down to circle and hit center diameter circle and let's create the inner diameter of our centering ring. So if you remember, the inner diameter of our centering, centering ring is going to match the outer diameter of the inner tube. Now, right now, those are the same diameter if you click automatic, but that can sometimes be a problem if you're trying to glue two things of the same diameter. So we want the inner diameter of our centering ring to be slightly bigger than the outer diameter of our inner tube. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the origin right here in Fusion 360, click on it, drag it out, and we're going to do 1.21 plus 0 0.01. And that will make sure that the inner diameter of your centering ring will be a little bigger than the outer diameter of your inner tube. That will give you some nice tolerancing. All right. Now let's do the same thing for the outer diameter. So we're going to go down to sketch, we're going to do circle, and we're going to do center diameter circle. Now kind of the same idea, you don't want the outer diameter of the centering ring to match the inner diameter of your body tube exactly because then it will be really hard to put the centering ring inside the body tube. So what we're going to do is we're going to put 2.558, that's the um, size of my outer diameter right here. Anyway, 2.558 and for the outer diameter we're going to subtract 0 0.01 inches. Make sure everything is in inches, we're going to hit enter twice. And then you have, there we go, your inner diameter and outer diameter of your centering ring. Now, Let's say you had your tool on and you're like, oh no, I keep creating circles. How do I exit out of the tool? You're going to hit the escape button on the top left of your keyboard and it, is, it exits, exits out of that tool. All right, now let's convert this to a DXF file. We're going to hit stop sketch. We're going to hit stop sketch <laughs> and sometimes it shows up like this and you're like, oh no, where's my sketch for the centering ring? You're just going to click on this arrow and you're going to right click sketch one. That's the sketch where we made our centering ring. We're going to hit save as DXF. You can save it wherever. I'm going to save it in my rocketry folder and I'm going to name it center ring ring example one. And there you go, you have your DXF file that you can bring over to the laser cutter. My second centering ring is the exact same size, so I'm just going to use that file twice. 